I'm wondering what leadership role you see for HHS in controlling or constraining the premium costs for the policies that will be offered in the exchanges. And in particular, um, is, does that role include restraining the costs of uh, premiums, or will a policy offered on the exchange get HHS's blessing as long as it offers uh, the essential health benefits and meets other criteria? I mean, how strongly do you think HHS should crack the whip there? Well, again, I think it's a, it's a balance, and um, I saw this as insurance commissioner. Um, every state in the country has an insurance department. Every state in the country is responsible for the regulation of companies selling policies in that state, and that will not change under this law. So making sure that companies pay their claims on time, making sure that they have, frankly, enough money in the bank uh, to pay the claims, and then reviewing the rates as they go into the market, um, looking carefully at what's being charged, what the profit level is, why a rate increase might be, needed, what the underlying um, actuarial value is. So that um, is going on, but one of the things that has changed is we have given a lot of resources to states to actually up their game, uh, make sure that states who were not in the past doing thorough reviews, didn't have actuaries on staff, didn't have often the legal framework to, to do um, rate reviews now are beginning to come into the business. What I saw, though, in that job is that competition does a lot. Transparency does a lot. No company wants to be the highest priced company in the market and let people look side by side. They do a lot to try and make sure that that does not happen. Since companies, for the first time, uh, who offer policies in the exchange will have to basically have the same kinds of benefits. For the first time ever in the history of the United States, they'll have to compete for service and customers, um, not by cherry picking the market, trying to figure out you know, who can only insure people who promise never to get sick, and um, which has been sort of part of the strategy of insurance companies. The more carefully you could design a plan so that you discourage somebody from uh, enrolling who might be ill, and the more you can ensure people who promise never to get sick. And then, frankly, if they do get sick, close that block of business, raise the rates, drive them out, and, and drop the rates for newly insured. That won't happen anymore. So some of just the market rules will mean that competition is there. We, um, in the new markets, will get rid of a lot of the administrative costs uh, because uh, what is filed is straightforward. A lot of the marketing costs will be done, actually, by the on-the-ground folks. And we have a new rule, the 80-20 rule. Companies can't charge um, rates where more than 20 cents of the dollar goes to overhead costs for CEO salaries or big marketing campaigns, 80 cents of every dollar has to go for health benefits. And they have to turn that data in every year. Last year we returned almost $2 billion to consumers across the country, $2 billion. And we got calls from all over the country from people saying, I just got a check from my insurance company. You know, this never happens. And what they said is, it's because you said they had to send me a check. And it, that's basically the, the case. So I think what we're going to see is a very different kind of competitive market. And that competition in and of itself should help moderate prices. We've seen that happen in the market in the last three years, and I think we're going to continue to see that.